Well, that win puts Lincoln five points clear at the top of the table, and although Millwall were far from disgraced, they've still got a long haul in front of them. In the old days, footballing cricketers often made the news from Dennis and Leslie Compton, Willie Watson, even back to Patsy Hendren. But if you said fullback Phil Neal, not many people would call to mind yesterday's goal scorer. Do you think this side could go places if the backup could be found? I think it could, certainly. Last year we were very disappointed not to go up. Fulham just pipped us and you only have to see what Fulham are achieving this year. We feel that we could have done the same, going straight up into a higher division. That might though create problems for you if the side goes further and further. Would it curtail your cricket a bit? Well, there are problems in that area. Obviously it's difficult, particularly now being captain at Worcester, I'm expected to be there all the time. And it was a bit difficult last year, but we, we treat that situation as it comes up. Hopefully we'll have won the one promotion before the end of the football season. But there aren't many of your breed left, are there? No, I think I'm about the only one left, but I'm, I'm pleased to be the only one. I'm proud to be the only one. I just want to continue doing both as long as I possibly can. But is it difficult? It is difficult. It creates problems with not having a, a break at all and the overlaps of the seasons. But I've been lucky that the two clubs have always had the situation and they've always been willing to work around it, so hopefully it can continue. Well, you'd be upset if I didn't ask you about your goal, because it is your first of the season. It is, yes. I had a bit of a bet with the other fullback, actually, who would score first, but he said that one doesn't count because I was playing in midfield. <laughs> <laughs> Thompson. Turner. And Neil saw that early. Can he keep it under control? Yes, he can, and beautifully done. Well, we select our skill spot from that match and take a look at the capability of Glenn Cockerell, emphasising his speed of thought and his two-footedness. This Simonite free kick here is headed out, and I like the sense of purpose with which he gets on to the ball as it drops to his feet and attacks the defence immediately. He likes to get the far side of defenders. There's the control with the right foot, but before it drops almost, or just as it drops, he beats his opponent with a left foot skill, then has got to work very hard to turn and hook that ball up on the near post, making a good opportunity there for Pete to head it past that same post. He took the eye at West Ham in the Milk Cup for his strong running into the other half of the field, and he does that here, but at the same time shows his speed of thought as he reads fullback Robinson number three's mind. He thinks he's the one doing the dummy, but he's not because Cockerell's read it and then slips it through the second defender's legs and lays on the perfect chance for Derek Bell. You could euphemistically call this coming up a dummy. <laughs> but he makes no mistake with the second one and holds out finally. And Glenn's manager, Colin Murphy, knows only too well his true value. Well, he's quick and he's strong. And I, I think that and he wants to attack, he wants to get in behind people, he wants to shoot. The boy just loves playing football. He likes training and he gets a lot of teamwork, a lot of link up with the other players. Um, our assistant manager, John Pickering, he does a lot of work with him in training and I think it's all paying off. And you got money for him once, didn't you? And yeah, then we got, got him back again. Yeah, we got £100,000 for him, um, sold him uh, for 100 bought him back for 40 so I think, look up, Glenn, you might be down the road again shortly. <laughs> <laughs> and if yeah. you did go up, how would you survive uh, in I Division might be, I'll 2? I'll work at Christmas. <laughs> no, I mean, if we go up, I mean, I can only do um, what the resources are here to do. I think, I think I've done about as much as I can on fresh air. If we go up, um, players maybe will need rises. We will need a couple of players. We will need to develop one or two things. But and where maybe, would it come from? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking up there. Maybe we've got an anonymous betting factor <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> well, there's a twist. Help needed from above as a result of going up. Where's it coming from for the relegated clubs, I wonder? Well, now it's time for our stir